Frenchman is celebrating Day of the Dead in a very special way. Yeah, on October 29th, the Morris will be the meeting place for everyone to take part in this celebration. Erica Jimenez is in the newsroom to tell us more about it. Erica? That's right, guys. Hispanic Heritage Month concludes on October 15, but that does not mean the celebrations of our heritage end. Here's where you can join me to keep the celebrations going. This is what the Morris looks like today, but that won't be the case on October 29th as the Morris is set to be a full house as the community gathers to celebrate Dia de los Muertos or Day of the Dead. I know you probably have a lot of question. questions. What is it? How can I attend? Well, starting at 1 p.m. at Hunt Plaza, there will be food trucks, music, and a, lot of, and a lot of fun activities for the whole family. And at 3 p.m., the party moves over inside at the Morris with what promises to be a beautiful and fun event. One of my jobs is to bring equity to the Morris. Uh, it has been viewed as probably not friendly to lots of cultures in this town. And so I think for the first time last year, a lot of people of Mexican and Hispanic culture had never been in this, in this spot, came to the Morris free of charge and felt welcome. Uh, the dancers last year, it was the first time they ever danced on the stage. It was the first time we ever had a festival like this, and the, uh, the outpouring was just overwhelming. Hola, join me. And me. For a celebration of music, art, food, and culture on October 29th here at the Morris Performing Arts Center as we celebrate Dia de los Muertos here in South Bend. And in case you missed it, WNDU is a proud sponsor of this event, and I will personally be there to celebrate with all of you. All right, Erica, looking forward to it. Thank you for that.